If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have no love, I am a clashing gong and a noisy cymbal. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. <laughs> Glory to God. So thank you, Lord, for your word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> there, how's that for a prayer? Glory to God. And I just declare over you life. I declare over you wholeness. I declare over you that the love of God will pour out into others' lives. That you'll build others up today in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. And here's a question for you. How many people know that you are a believer? I'm just going to sit here for a second. Let my ear go like this. <laughs> Because I'm going to believe in the Spirit that all of you are going to say, people do know. And how do they know? How do they know? Is it because of what you say? Is it because of uh, <clears throat> your, the church you go to? How, how do they know that you're a true believer? <laughs> they know you're a true believer because of your love, because of your actions, your good work. And uh, <clears throat> how do they know? Do you show other people your love for your brothers and sisters in the body? Do you, do you look at others as though they might be just prodigals when they don't serve the Lord, that they might just be prodigals waiting to come back to the Lord, that the Father's waiting at that window to see them coming down the road so he can run out and greet them and, <laughs> and kiss them and hug them and... and prepare a feast for them so that all of the kingdom of heaven will rejoice? Or, or, or are you one of those closet Christians who uh, goes to church every week but you don't want anybody to know because they might not accept you anymore? Um, <laughs> just, uh, how do people know? How do people know who you are? And you walk in agape and agapo love? Gapio, I think that's how it's said. <clears throat> how do we walk? How do we walk out our love? The Lord's asking you right now. How do you walk out your love? I'm not the Lord. The Lord's asking me through, asking me through me, asking me through me. <laughs> Even asking me the same question. Glory to God. Praise His holy name. But how do people know? And my uh, definition of know is to recognize the nature of the CERN. To recognize as being the same as something. Are you the same as something, that something being Christ? Are you <clears throat> living that up to that expectation of the word Christian? I'm going to just put this out here and say it how I feel it. I, I feel like most do not live up to that word Christian. I don't like using that word. I've said it before. I like using the word believer because I'm a true believer. I'm a believer. I can call myself a Christian, but if other people don't see that, what does that mean? It just puts a bad connotation on the word Christ <clears throat> and the body of Christ, as a matter of fact. And we're supposed to be drawing into the bride. <laughs> At any rate, uh, I've got two words here, two Greek words. One's agapio, it's love put into action. It means to love in a social or moral sense. And then there's the other word, agape, have love from God. I'm not 100% sure how I read that word because it's got so many different things attached to it. But I'm just going to say it's God's love. In, in us, in us for others, okay? It's more of a noun, a people, place, or a thing. It's a thing. It's, it's love in us. And uh, the word agape here means a love feast. And uh, in, the, in the first Corinthians 13, 1, it says, But have not love, have not agape, have not a love feast. I'm going to just let you ask the Holy Spirit what that means for you in your life. And take a drink of tea and wait a second. 
praise the Lord that we can do these things, that we can step out, we can help each other, we can put our love into action, not just in the words. I mean, uh, James says, uh, you know, <laughs> show me your faith, I'll show you my works. <laughs> faith without works is dead. You know, it's, it's like love without works. You tell somebody you love them, but you're not willing to do anything with that love. Love without works is dead. Good works doesn't buy you into heaven. doesn't make God love you anymore. But by us putting our love into action, we're showing the heart of the Father to others. It's true. <laughs> Ask the Holy Spirit, and He'll tell you. He just told me. <laughs> now He's been telling me for quite some time that we have to put our act, we have to put our money where our mouth is. And uh, in John 13, verse 34, it says, "A new commandment I give you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You are also to love one another." A new commandment that I give to you. Apparently up to that point. <laughs> okay, never mind. I won't go down that road. But praise the Lord. That that word love there, love and love, means agapio. It means love put into action. To love in a social or moral sense. We are to love each other. We are to build each other up. We are to take each other by the hand and strengthen each other. And I can I can just say about my pastors that they really do love, that they walk in that, that they put agapio into action, and they 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 actively walk in that. And there's no doubt in my mind because I've seen it in action that they they bring others into themselves and they build each other, they build others up. They esteem others. They take their time for others. And I appreciate that about them. And and the Lord's put that in me too. And I go out and I do the same thing. I'm not bragging about myself. I'm just saying how it is. Um, and we're to do that for each other. We're not just to sit on our tushes six days a week and go to church and say praise the Lord and then go home and, and say it's okay. Whose lives have we made better? And agapio is about making somebody else's life better. It's about building it up another. And then it, um, in John 13, 35, it says, By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another, if you have God's love for one another. That word love there is agape. Have love from God. A love feast. Have a love feast each other. Now, some people might <laughs> envision some things that aren't savory in this, but really what it means is to come together in the name of Jesus, to have communion, and not necessarily with, it, with wine and bread or grape juice and bread in most places. It's to come together in the name of Jesus. Jesus says, wherever two or more are gathered in his name, there you'll be in their midst. When we come together with our brothers and our sisters, we're to come together with the objective of bringing, lifting Christ's name up, becoming healed, becoming sozo, having a love feast. It's not about sitting around holding each other's hands and singing, Oh, kumbaya, my Lord. <laughs> you know, we, we do praise the Lord. We do lift our hands, we do worship Him and praise Him, but we build each other up so that when we walk out of that building, we're better than when we came in. Glory to God. And then in Philippians 2, 1 through 3, it says, So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and, and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. When we get together 
even if it's just two of us getting together, we need to build up that person we're with. We need to have a love feast for that person. We need to build them up. Hey, you're an awesome, mighty man in God. You are important to the body. We need to build each other up. <laughs> Brother, you're not the head. You're not the tail, but you're the head. Let me pray for you. Oh, you need something from the store. Let me buy that for you. If you have a need, if you see a need, take care of that need. Build that other person up. And the, and the word love there is agape. Is agape love. Have that God love for your brothers and sisters. Have that love feast for your brothers and sisters. And I just thank you for uh, sitting with me this morning. And I just bless your morning. I thank you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace over us. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you would just drill this love into us. That we would pour it out to others. That we are vessels for your honor to build each other up, to build others up, to spread that love. And not just in word, but in deed. And to take some of our time and, and make sure that our brothers and sisters are taken care of. And that they're not lone and set aside. And they're not hiding in some corner somewhere. And I just thank you for that, Lord. And I swear to God that you just breathe life into this word this morning. That you would just give us coffee and agape old love. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, praise the Lord. Glory to God. We're on this journey. i got to turn on my amp. can't see me right now. i got to turn the amp on. Get my fingers ready here. Bless the Lord. Right at first, it 
will come out right in the end. And your rewards will be great. And then eventually you won't even have to look at those keys. And I know that's not the right key to go with this. Eventually it'll be loose enough and hard enough in the right areas that you'll be able to do all of this without any problem. And you'll be able to go to the source. in Christ because of his righteousness you're made righteous glory to God bye